Um, uh, there are some photos that are that have been leaked that are uh, allegedly of a Amazon 3D smartphone prototype, and uh, so who knows whether it's actually true? But there have been rumors of uh, of Amazon uh, getting into the smartphone market for some time, and of having a 3D smartphone in particular. And this one has uh, five cameras on the front side, so in each corner of the camera. Is each corner of the phone is a camera on the front-facing part with a standard uh, camera in the front center. Um, so the four cameras, corner cameras, are low-powered infrared cameras that track your face and eyes in relation to the display. So the soft it allows the software to make adjustments based on viewing angle to create the 3D effect. So. Uh, uh, if that comes out, then I'll be definitely interested in trying that out because uh, I am a fan of 3D. I know not everyone is, but uh, but uh, it, when I've seen 3D movies that work, uh, they're pretty awesome. So um, they are pretty it. awesome, I, I have to say. But there's a lot of new phones coming out. I mean, the one we talked about last week that's that's coming from Google, where you right. can modular and you can replace the battery, and you can have three batteries in there at once, and you can have small, medium, and large versions of it, and you know, I think there's going to be an awful lot of competition for the phones, but the one that I'm really curious about is that there's one that uh, I saw a prototype of a while back, and it, it actually folds up flat, and you can put it in your pocket, and uh, you know, I wonder who's making that and when that's coming out, but I'm sure not going to get a new phone till all of this becomes clear. <laughs> um, anyway, that right. about wraps up the um, 44th episode of the Beyond Social Media Show. And you will find the show notes on our BeyondSocialMediaShow.com blog. You will also find them on our Beyond Social Media Show Google Plus page. And um, we will put a time-stamped version of the video on YouTube so that you will be able to go directly to any segment that you want to hear. And you will be able to find David Erickson uh, on Twitter, D. Erickson. Uh, at D. Erickson, and his blog is eStrategyBlog.com. He also has eStrategy TV, and um, and of course he's on Google Plus. And you will find me. I'm on Twitter at What's Next. Uh, my blog is What's Next Blog.com, and my new company is Maximum-Plus.com for learning all things Google Plus. And we'll be back next week. And we thank you for watching. Thank you.